to my channel. I feel like I'm buried in flowers. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> All right, my name is Selena. Thanks for subscribing today. So this time of year, you can not only find me shopping at the Goodwill, I also love to go to estate sales and garage sales because let's be real, that's really where the good deals are and really where you can find some awesome antique and vintage items for your home. So today I wanna to share with you a few of the things that I've recently found out thrifting and then also a couple new finds that you might like like for summertime purchases of your own. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna get the biggest thing out of the way first, I think. I got this really cool lamp at a citywide garage sale with my mom not long ago, and I brought home so much stuff that I forgot to show this to you. If you haven't seen that episode yet, make sure you check it out, because my mom and I went garage sailing all day long, and we found some really cool things. But I got this neat lamp for only $10. It's really, really beautiful, it has all hand-painted porcelain. Look Look at the arms on this thing. That's what got me is like, it is bold. This thing has a presence, <laughs> um, but it needs a lampshade and a good cleaning. This was in an old barn when I found it, but I don't, I brought this home and I was like, what am I gonna do with this thing once I got it home? And I don't have a spot for it. So I messaged my mom to see if perhaps I could bring this to my room at her house because she doesn't like that chippy shabby one so much, but she did like this one. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of a lamp swap. You know how we do. <laughs> This is so funny. I've been collecting tassels like a mad woman this year. I don't know what it is. You know, it's just like, I love fringe. I love tassels. They are so beautiful and romantic. And plus they just feel good. Like who doesn't want to brush one of these babies? <laughs> I actually have a really fun DIY that I'm working on for this summer. We had kind of a fluke rain shower today, which stopped me in my tracks, but I'm ready to rock. I have all the tassels I need. I've been collecting these at garage sales and then my dear friend, Laura of Honey Pond Vintage, she has an awesome Instagram and uh, Etsy shop. She found these out thrifting for me, so I'm gonna be using these in my DIY coming up. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I was cruising on a Facebook Marketplace, and I told you in my last video, if you are not looking on Facebook Marketplace for your vintage and antique finds, and then also your estate and garage sales, girl, you have to get on there now. Because I like, I had text Pete and I was like, babe, we gotta go, you know, out of town uh, this weekend, but I'll take you out for lunch. I saw this thing that I want. And I was totally, I don't even know why I bought this thing. I'll insert a little clip here. My husband said he'd get me a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh my gosh. Oh wait, how do the cowboys do it? Don't they reach Oh yeah. And flip them up? Yep, I've always wanted a <laughs> cowboy, so <laughs> dreams are coming true. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tell you about it later some other, in some other video. <laughs> so I went there to go get the thing, but this was the last day of this estate sale and everything was half off. I have seen ladies on Instagram decorate and collect these beautiful dishes. These are the rose medallion chin chinoiserie uh, Chinese dishes. I think they are all hand painted. They're porcelain and they're just so lovely. Like look at the birds and the beautiful roses and figurals. Super pretty. Uh, I thought this tray was really gorgeous because it has the uh, rose design again all around the outside and the shape was so pretty. I've been using this on my coffee table uh, to put my, I have a little scented candle and then my coasters and my remote like fit perfectly on here. Um, I got it for a dollar. So everyone was freaking out on Instagram because I actually ended up getting two of the rose medallion things. So each of these only a dollar. And I wanted to get your opinion because I, I don't know a lot about porcelain and glassware and I know I have lots of people who do. So if you could kind of help me on what you think these might be worth, I would, I would love your opinion. So this is what they're stamped. They're made in China on the back. Again, they are actually hand painted. I can see like the raised, uh, the paint on there and I can feel the texture. Um, but I don't know if they're like the really valuable ones or what, but a lot of my girls on Instagram were like, you got those for a dollar, what? That's crazy. So they might be really valuable. If if they're not, I know they're probably worth more than a dollar. They're so beautiful. And you know what looks really fun is this pattern is so cute mixed with my cabbage dishes. I, I love that combination. These are just gonna be real pretty to decorate for, with for like spring and summer months. 
This one I picked up first because I thought that this was going to be like the most valuable of the plates. So this is a Limoges plate and it's the lady in the unicorn. I've seen this um, piece of art done in like really beautiful tapestries and artwork uh, before, but I've never seen it on a plate and they had the Limoges certificate with it. So I did look this one up online and it's valued around $35, which is really cool. I just, I think this is just a really beautiful uh, plate. I don't know if I would like eat on, I might put cookies on it or something like that. I don't know, it's just too gorgeous to like cover up, isn't it? This is the other beautiful thing that I got at that estate sale. I just loved this really like soft pinky lilac color. Again, it has a really pretty fringe on it. It's kind of like a thin, like a little neck scarf, I guess, but I was gonna use this as a dresser scarf. I just thought the coloring was beautiful. And look at this, look at this. Like, uh, isn't that a gorgeous combination? Are you kidding me? I love this. Okay, I wanna show you two new things. <laughs> Two of the same new things. Um, I got some summer sandals. Macy's had a really good sale and I was looking for a sandal with pearls on it. <laughs> and um, they had, these are called Madden Girl. And I just thought they were so cute. I think they're like a Steve Madden brand, but they have them half off, or at least when I shopped, they were only $22 on there. I thought these were so cute. Is that focusing for you? I hope so. Uh, I love the pearl detail. At first, when I pulled these out of the box, I was a little nervous because I was like, man, I bet all those little jewels are going to fall off and stuff because I had to adjust the straps, you know, to fit my foot better. And only like two of the little pearls fell off. These are actually glued on there really, really well. They're super good quality. I wear an eight and a half, but I sized up in a nine in these and they're really comfortable. I wanted something to be able to like, I don't know, slip on easily to bring Millie outside or just like pop around in the garden and just have something easy to get on and off. But I thought I would share these with you because they're so cute and comfortable. Uh, I'm gonna link these down in my description box for you and let me know if you end up snagging a pair of your own. Okay, this is another new thing, so cute. I think I only have like, yeah, I only got two new things to share with you, I guess. Um, but they oh, are so cute. More pearls, right? Um, I love Lily Pulitzer. I kind of like went overboard on Lily Pulitzer stuff years ago. I wore Lily every single day and I, I got burned out on it. <laughs> so I took a break, uh, but we're back now. <laughs> but I saw this really cute headband uh, online and I love the pearl detailing. I've seen headbands like that. this. There's another designer that I've seen that does this kind of like clustered headband look and her headbands are like $150 for a headband. I think this one was 38 on Lily Pulitzer's site, but I just thought it was so cute. Like, look at, it has the little, um, it's busy. I'm busy today. So <laughs> imagine this a little more neutral, but it has like the top, little top knot section, which I, th which I thought was super cute. And the best part is, girl, it does not squeeze your brains. You know, there are some headbands that you wear that you just have like the worst migraine at the end of the day. This one is so, so comfortable and it even looks cute. Like if you have your hair up, you know, if you just did like a little twist like this and then pop on a headband, done. We don't have to think about it. <laughs> Again, I will link the headband down for you below. <laughs> Ooh, I, I have some, are we good? I feel like I'm getting so excited. I'm like yarding off all of my stuff. Oh, I have to show you these beautiful birds that I got at the antique mall. We're gonna pop downstairs real quick and I have to show you something. Oh, I'm so excited about these. Isn't this cool? They match the white egrets like perfectly. Now it looks like I have a flock in my living room. They're so, so neat. Uh, I got them for $48 and they're huge. Like, look, here's my hand for reference. Bird, hand, love. And uh, I just think they're so pretty. We have white egrets here in Oregon and we kind of live near a lot of like bird refuges and they're just everywhere here, like in the farm fields and everything. So it's, it's really neat to have some of them here in our home. And I love that our living room's becoming a little bit more botanical and soft in here. I feel like they're the perfect accent to this beautiful painting that my friend Deb gifted to me. I am, oh, I am hot. It is like muggy summer day today. <laughs> 
Okay, I did get a few uh, new to me clothing items I'm pretty pumped about. This dress is a dream. I also got this at that citywide garage sale with my mom. We were in this like mungy, dirty old barn and I was like, look at this dress. My mom's all, what are you so excited about? She thought I was holding a tablecloth. I guess it does kind of look like a tablecloth, but this is the cutest dress. What is the brand of it? Apparently they're like valuable because it's vintage. Carol Anderson, California. But oh, look at this print. And guess what? It has pockets. You know, that's a thing. <laughs> but I love this silhouette, fitted waist, full skirt. It's that beautiful, like classy T length. I love the wider strap on it. It's got a little bit of a sweetheart neckline and look at the back child it's got the little bow tie and it's totally adjustable and then around the back side above your booty is all elastic so it's really really comfortable this is such a beautiful dress I think it would be perfect for a little summertime date night or to wear to the farmer's market and guess what it was a dollar. Oh my goodness. So I was going to put this in my online shop. My mom picked this up at an estate sale and I had this tucked away and yeah, I was going to pop it in my online boutique. And for those of you that are new here, uh, I do host uh, vintage jewelry sales on my website, thevintagebombshell.com. So if you check that up, I'm prepping for my next summer sale and there's some really, really beautiful turquoise coming in that one. Uh, but I was going to put this in there and I, oh, I'm glad that I didn't because I've been wearing this beautiful kimono uh, for summertime because it's cotton and it is incredibly comfortable. The print is beautiful, isn't it? I love this like turquoisey sky blue and it's got all these gorgeous cherry blossoms and chrysanthemums on it. It's such a beautiful, beautiful print. And it even had the little sash tie still, which is wonderful because these always seem to get lost. It's just in beautiful condition. It's so like soft and comfortable. I love this piece and I'm so glad I didn't get rid of it. <laughs> I love to look at Goodwill like for off season stuff. So right now it's summertime. It's a great time for you to be thrift shopping for the winter months. So be looking for those like wintry coats or cute sweaters and things like that because there's actually a lot to choose from. And this is a great time of year to find like cashmere and like those luxury type fabrics right now because no one's really looking at that. So always look and shop off season. That's really how you can score some great stuff at Goodwill. Uh, I did pick up this really cute, it's a lightweight sweater. I feel like this is something that I could also wear uh, during the springtime. It was only $4.99. I thought this is so adorable because it has a little like billowy uh, puff sleeve, which is so cute and Victorian. The uh, styling on it almost looked like something that would have come from anthropology. I'm kind of feeling like it is. They cut off the tag and it feels like some kind of a like cashmere blend. It's it's incredibly soft. I just thought this was so beautiful and like had this all tucked in or wear it with a little skirt tucked in. It looks so sweet. I love it. Oh, okay. I, I set this to the side. I almost forgot about this thing. I love this little basket. I got this at an estate sale years ago and I kind of bring this with me in my car when I'm out garage sailing because I can throw my snacks in it and my water bottle and then I'll pop like my little crossbody bag in it. And it's also wonderful for the farmer's market because it's plastic, you know, and I can put my veggies in there and everything and, and rinse it real easily. But what I was gonna show you, I love to do this with my vintage scarves. I got this scarf at Goodwill. I think it was $1.99 or $2.99. You might remember this a few videos ago, but it has like cute little parrots on it and stuff. I was gonna wear it as a head wrap and I was like, no, I have to put this on my bag. It's so cute. It makes it kind of look like a little like designer kind of boutique look to it. It's just fun. I love that. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun in this video. I, um, I know it was a little bit of a quick one today, but I have some really fun DIYs coming that I've been working on. I'm giving you a little bit of a sneak peek. I know some of you are quite keen and you've probably noticed what's going on behind me, but um, I've been working on my beautiful mural wall here at home and I'm so excited to share that with you really soon. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. It really does help me in this whole world of YouTube here and also helps you not to miss a video. So thanks so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.